Okay, so let's look at how linear tomography works. And I'm going to draw a series of diagrams and put the term terminology that's important so that we can understand how it works. Now traditionally, this is our patient. And this is our patient couch or patient table. The x-ray tube is going to be moving from a stationary position and I'm going to call that point A and it's going to move in a straight line linear to a second position which I'll refer to as point B. So this is your x-ray tube. Now this line represents the x-ray beam as it goes through the patient. And this is our image receptor. The point at which the x-ray tube rotates is called the pivot point. Also called the fulcrum. And the pivot point and anything in that plane that cuts through the fulcrum will be sharp. So anytime you want the tissue to be in focus, you would place the fulcrum at that level relative to the table. So let's say the kidneys are 9 centimeters from the tabletop you would put your pivot point 9 centimeters from the tabletop and everything in that plane that is 9 centimeters from the pivot point would be sharp and that coincides to the fulcrum as you move away from the fulcrum in any direction whether you move further anterior to the patient or further posterior to the patient tissues in those areas will be blurred so tissues in the which what's referred to as the focal plane or sometimes called object plane are sharp and tissues beyond the object plane are not. Interestingly, at the further from the fulcrum you go, the more blur occurs. There are two other terms that we should also try to remember and they are tomographic angle and exposure angle. Tomographic angle and exposure angle. What's the difference? Well, the tomographic angle is the angle made by the tube as it re rotates from its starting position where it's stationary to the end position where it's stationary. The x-ray exposure itself, the x-rays do not come on immediately. Some time has to be given for the x-ray tube to reach a particular speed. So let's say that the x-ray tube starts at point A, which is stationary, and the x-ray exposure does not start until some time after. Once the x-ray exposure starts at point A1, and it goes and continues to point B1, exposure stops, then the machine slows down and comes back to rest at point B. So the tomographic angle, which is a point from rest to rest, is always larger than the exposure angle, which is from point A1 to B1. X-rays are on from A1 to B1,